the official territorial signs and symbols that is the food, music, flower and fabric will be revealed when the first Territory Day celebration is held on Monday, July 1st at the Noah Lloyd Park. Territory Day, which was known as Colony Day up until 1978, stems from the dis dissolution of the Federation of the Leeward Islands, of which the Virgin Islands was a part. The Leeward Islands Federation was dissolved in 1956 in preparation for the creation of the West Indies Federation. The Virgin Islands did not join the West Indies Federation because then legislators Howard Penn, Isaac Fonseca, Charles Brundle Bruce, and Carlton De Castro felt that the new political grouping was not in the best interest of the territory and the colony of the Virgin Islands came into being. Speaking on JTV Spotlight, co-chair of the Territory Day Committee, Brenda Letsamtai says the BVI was given more political and economic autonomy by becoming a separate colony of the United Kingdom. We were a presidency at that time, and our legislators had to go to Antigua to plead our case because, unfortunately, in 1902, we lost, we lost our, our, our legislature, legislature mm -hmm. at the time. So we no longer were able to rule internally ourselves. We had to travel to Antigua. And so in 1956, this was a, a tremendous tremendous step in the development of the territory because no longer did we have to do that but some things led up to that you know because in 1949 we had the march of 1949 mm -hmm. which we reenacted not that long ago the very next year we had an election and after that election the legislature was but reinstated, reinstated. Mm -hmm. so there were there were movements coming up to why we felt that you know it's time for us to to, to get a handle on ruling ourselves. So in, when, this, when the opportunity came by in 1956, they petitioned that they did not want to become a part of another federation, besides the fact that we didn't really trade with them. We traded with the U.S. Virgin Islands, and we also had the U.S. dollars currency, which was not their currency as well. So they decided not to join this new West Indies Federation, and to their credit, it was the best thing they could have done for us as a territory. We became a colony and were given our own status in 1956. And that's when we became, uh, that's when the 1st of July became Colony Day. In 1978, the word colony was no longer in favor of what we would call politically correct these mm -hmm. days. The Virgin Islands status as a territory signifies its advancement towards self-government and economic development. The promoting of territorial signs and symbols as part of the first Territory Day celebration serves as an opportunity for Virgin Islanders to affirm their identity and foster a sense of territorial pride. Um, we're going to have featured uh, young people of the territory. They're, gonna, they're an essential because it's all about them. The future's for them. Mm -hmm. It's all about them learning about our history, our, 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 our culture, our heritage, and, and national pride. We will be presenting all the territorial signs and symbols on that day. We'll be presenting the territorial gift, and we'll be presenting to the public for comment the culture policy of the Virgin Islands. The ceremony is scheduled to begin at 9 a.m. and will feature remarks by Premier Dr. Orlando Smith and Minister for Education and Culture Myron Walwyn. Other known territorial signs and symbols will also be on display and attendees will be treated to a cultural dramatization focused on the, dis on the significance of the Virgin Islands' development as a territory.